Welcome everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to determine the strain rate sensitivity from uh, tensile curves uh, obtained for different uh, strain rates. So as you can see I already put the tensile curves there or flow curves there. They can come from compression as well. And uh, you can see that there are four different curves for four different uh, strain rates and then uh, we will evaluate the uh, curves. So first of all uh, I will show everything uh, to you by steps. So let's start with uh, step one and then uh, the, the step one is basically that uh, we have to evaluate the, uh, uh, the yield stress here so let's say that this is by finding RP 0 0.2 and uh, this is very simple so you just have to find the elastic part of the flow curve and fit a linear equation on that uh, here I'm just drawing a line parallel with the elastic section and then once you have that equation then uh, that will look like uh, basically an equation of a line and that has to be shifted to the 0 0.2 uh, proof strength so basically what we have here is we move to the 0 0.2 and uh, draw a line but uh, in reality then this curve has a following equation where, M, uh, where A is the slope and the B is the intercept uh, on the y-axis. So when we fit it on the flow curves then uh, we get this type of equation and how you do the shifting mathematically is like uh, the following. So you basically just do this and uh, you get uh, this black curve here and what you have to do here is you see that uh, there are four curves so you will get uh, four data so then that's the step two basically so create a table for the data so now I just show you what kind of uh, data we need so we have the strain rate which is one per second and then uh, we will need to calculate the log of this the logarithm so we will note this down I don't write the units here and then we have the yield strength as well so this is RP 0 0.2 and then this is megapascal and then uh, we also take the logarithm of this and I will tell you later why and we are done with this part so we have all the data so we noted down the uh, strain rate and we noted down the uh, yield stress as well so now uh, I'm telling you why we need the logarithms here so let's say that uh, step 3 then that is the equations So for the strain rate sensitivity we, we have the following equation. So the sigma which can be the flow stress or the yield stress, uh, whatever you choose, that is proportional to this uh, value here. And then this is usually uh, multiplied by some sort of constant which is dependent on the uh, sigma, so the stress value. And then uh, you can do a mathematical trick here. So you take the log of this equation. So the following uh, will be the result. So log uh, sigma equals with uh, m times the log of the strain rate plus the log of this f uh, sigma. And now you see that uh, why did we need 
the logarithm of these different values and here the sigma will be the rp 0.2 and then this is given so why we need this is because this looks like an equation for a uh, this is a linear equation so like basically a slope so what you can do here is uh, you can we can go to step four where we plot uh, the data so basically what we do here is we take this which is basically log d epsilon dt and we take this guy here so this will be x uh, sorry this will be y and this will be x here and uh, we plot it so we have this plot with the four points that you can uh, see in the table so I just uh, put everything on the uh, chart so this is uh, epsilon dot and this is the rp 0 0.2 and then uh, why we need this is basically because if you see this equation here then the, the slope which is now here is a instead of m but uh, the slope will give you the strain rate sensitivity so m equals a equals 0 0.02 and then uh, that's all so you got uh, the final result or if you want to define this more precisely mathematically then uh, you can measure the change in the flow stress so in the sigma uh, brought about by a change in uh, epsilon dot when epsilon and uh, the temperature is constant and uh, to translate these two equations then we need the m which was the slope but that is basically here the change in the uh, flow stress and uh, the change in the uh, epsilon dot so the strain rate when we keep epsilon and the temperature constant and then this is basically like delta log sigma divided by delta log epsilon dot and if you just have two data then uh, this is very simple because just divide the sigmas there and divide the epsilons there as well the epsilon dots so this is the final equation so this is a very simple equation and a very simple uh, example so if you want to know the strain rate sensitivity uh, parameter which is the m here in this equation then you have two methods basically one is that you evaluate the flow curves here in the upper left uh, corner and then based on the data obtained from that uh, which are the rp 0.2 and the strain rates then uh, you can plot these uh, values and then have this chart and uh, you fit a linear on these dots or points and uh, the slope so basically the slope will give you the strain rate sensitivity uh, parameter or you can do mathematically so you just take uh, two values here and uh, you can uh, evaluate these data based on that so for example you can take uh, the first two values from this table and then uh, you can say that let's uh, divide these things so you take 766 divided by 679 and then here it's uh, the same so you take here 10 to the minus 2 divided by 
10 to the minus 4 and then what you get here is 0 0.026 and then you can see that uh, these values are almost almost the same we can say that uh, of course for the slope we used four data and here we just used two data but uh, then still we can see that uh, these two numbers are relatively close to each other so basically this was all I hope you learned something and I hope that this was useful and uh, you can use this to practice for an exam or something like that so then I will stop here and uh, we see each other in the next video.